greatest players in Indiana history, and let's join the festivities at center court. chapter of the rich history of Indiana basketball. And as you all have seen, it's an arena that pays tribute to the unique tradition of hoops in the Hoosier State. This, after all, is a place where basketball has always been far more than just a game. It's practically a religion. And it's always been played in Indiana with a special passion, from the countryside to the high schools, to the colleges, to the pros. And the state has produced so many great teams. The Pacers, the Indiana University Hoosiers. And speaking of Hoosiers, there's the legendary team from Milan High School. It's no surprise then that many of basketball's all-time great players have their roots right here in the heartland. And tonight, we'll pay tribute to the 50 greatest players in Indiana basketball history. Now, you've already seen many of them on the video board. To meet the rest, right now, let's turn our attentions to Indiana's 50 greatest. Welcome them, please. Centers, considered one of the most talented players in state history. He starred at Crispus Attucks High and was elected to the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame in 1986. Willie Gardner. He helped lead the Indiana Pacers to three championships in the old ABA and was the league's MVP in 1971. Today, he's still with the Pacers as their personnel director, Mel Daniels. A high school 
superstar at Newcastle. He was one of the leaders of Indiana University's national championship team in 1976 and went on to have a solid career in the NBA. Kent Benson. The second of the 1988 NBA draft. He's now beginning his 12th season with the Pacers. He's one of the keys Indiana's success throughout the 90s, Rick Smith. Next, we'll turn our attention to the forwards. He was the first player to score 30 points in the state championship game when he led Anderson High School to the title in 1946. Jumping, Johnny Wilson. Named Indiana's Mr. Basketball in 1953. He was a standout at Christmas Attucks High School and Indiana University, and then went on to play for the Harlem Globetrotters. Hallie Bryant. He helped lead Attucks High the 1955 state championship and went on to have a stellar career at Purdue. Willie Merriweather. She was a top player in the state at East Chicago Roosevelt High School and became a three-time All-American at Long Beach State, LaTanya Pollard. A two-time All-American at Purdue, he finished his career as the Boilermakers' all-time leading scorer, Dave Shellhouse. At Seeger High School, she was the National Player of the Year, and she led Purdue Boilermakers to the 1999 NCAA title, Stephanie McCarty. He was one of the top scorers in the country while at Notre Dame, and he went on to become one of the all-time leading scorers in the NBA, Adrian Dettley. This native of Terre Haute was a three-time All-American at Purdue. He also won a gold medal in the 1960 U.S. Olympic team and played nine seasons in the NBA. Harry Dissinger. He helped lead Manuel High School to the 1961 state championship game, then earned All-American honors at Indiana and played 12 seasons in the NBA. Dick Van Arsdale. He helped lead Manuel High School to the 1961 championship game, then earned All-American honors at Indiana, and then played 12 seasons in the NBA. That's actually the identical career of the previous player, which is no surprise because they're identical in nearly every other way, too. It's Dick's twin brother, Tom Van Arsdale. He was an all-star for the Pacers in 1977, their first season in the NBA. And he's the team's third all-time leading scorer. Today, he's still helping the Pacers from the front office as their senior vice president for basketball, Billy Knight. He has excelled at every level of Indiana basketball. He was an all-state player at Washington High, an All-American at Indiana University, and one of the greatest in the history of the Pacers, George McGinnis. Now we head to the backcourt for the greatest guards in Indiana history. An All-State player at Franklin High School, he was the leading scorer for the 1965 Indiana Hoosiers and had a very successful NBA career with the Milwaukee Bucks, John McLaughlin. He averaged 28 points a game at Muncie Central High School, won two national titles at the University of Cincinnati. He was also one of the original Pacers in 1967. Ron Bonham.
a long line of great Indiana shooters, this product of Purdue High School was named Mr. Basketball in 1975. He was also an All-American at Kentucky, helping to lead the Wildcats to the 1978 national title. Kyle Macy. He was a sensation at Newcastle High School and then at Indiana University, leading the Hoosiers to the national title in 1987. Now he's the head coach at the University of Iowa, Steve Alford. He was captain of the Indiana Hoosiers 1976 unbeaten championship team. He went on to win a gold medal at the 76 Olympics then added an NBA championship ring with the 84 Celtics, Quinn Buckner. He was a scoring machine at Notre Dame, setting a single game record with 61 points in 1970. After leading the Irish to three straight NCAA tournament appearances, he became an NBA All-Star, Austin Carr. He played his entire career within the borders of Indiana, going from Washington High School to Purdue University, and then on to the Pacers, where he was one of the premier shooters in the ABA. Billy Keller. He led Coco High to the state final in 1959. In college, he set the single game scoring record at Indiana University, then stayed in Indiana as one of the original ABA Pacers. Jimmy Rail. At Carmel High School, he once scored 70 points in one game, and he continued to fill it up at Butler University, where he set a school record by averaging 28 points in a season. Billy Shepard. He played his high school, college, and pro ball in Indiana. He went from Holland High School to the University of Evansville, then starred for the Pacers, Don Boozy. <laughs> An All-American in Indiana, he helped the Hoosiers win the 1953 National Championship. Then as a coach, guided the Pacers to three ABA titles. And these days, he imparts his wisdom from the Pacers broadcast booth. He was a small guard from a tiny high school, but he played a huge role in Indiana Hoops history, hitting the shot that gave Milan High a dramatic upset in the 1954 state championship game. And their story was immortalized in the film Hoosiers. Here's Bobby Plum. For the past 12 seasons, he's been electrifying NBA fans with his deadly shooting, especially in the clutch. He's made more three-pointers than anyone in NBA history. He's led the Pacers to 10 playoff appearances. He's the team's all-time leading scorer, Reggie Miller. And finally, here are the Indiana legends who have earned a place in the Basketball Hall of Fame. At Indiana University, he was one of the most dominant centers in the country. He helped the U.S. win a gold medal at the 1960 Olympics and was a four-time All-Star during a 14-season career in the NBA. Walt Bellamy. for Terre Haute Garfield in the late 40s, and he's the only player in NCAA history to lead the nation in scoring and win the national championship in the same year, Clyde Lavelle. <laughs> this guard from Martinsville High School 
was the National Player of the Year at Purdue in 1932. But he's best known for his greatness as a coach. He's the architect of the UCLA dynasty, winning a record 10 national championships, including seven in a row. The Wizard of Westwood, John Wooden. Crispus Attucks High, leading his teams to two straight state titles. From there, he became a three-time All-American at Cincinnati, an Olympic gold medalist, and one of the greatest players in NBA history. Along the way, he set the standard for versatility, becoming the first NBA player to average a triple-double for an entire 